Hello everybody, I am Anu Joseph. You must be aware of the need for good nutrition in order to maintain good health and well-being. How do we get good nutrition? Through a diet containing adequate amounts of all the essential nutrients referred to as a balanced diet. The essential nutrients consist of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water. The focus of this session is on vitamin A, its history, structure, chemistry, dietary sources, distribution and absorption. Vitamins are a group of organic substances occurring in many foods in small amounts and necessary in trace amounts for the normal metabolic functioning of the body. They act as coenzymes and regulators of metabolic processes. There are 13 vitamins, most of which are found in foods, while some are synthesized in the body. Depending on the solubility, vitamins may be classified as water-soluble or fat-soluble. Water-soluble vitamins include vitamin B complex and C, while the fat-soluble vitamins comprise of four vitamins A, D, E and K. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to gain knowledge on the history of vitamin A, describe the structure and chemistry of vitamin A, identify the dietary source of vitamin A and explain the distribution and absorption of this vitamin. Now how did the name vitamin come about? The term vitamin was coined in the early 1900s by the biochemist Casimir Funk to describe a vital amine that is nitrogen containing compound of food. The existence of vitamin A was clearly recognized in 1913, its chemical nature was established in 1933 and was first synthesized in 1947. Vitamin A is an essential nutrient required by humans for varied important functions namely the normal functioning of the visual system growth and development, maintenance of epithelial cellular integrity, immune function and reproduction. Now, let us take a voyage through the history of the discovery and study of vitamin A. From earlier times, the need for certain foods necessary to prevent blindness was recognized. Scientists had discovered that the richest source of vitamin A in the body was in the retina and the tissues in the back of the eyes. Hence, the scientific term for vitamin A is retinol because of its presence in the retina. The role of retinol in vision was suggested by scientists. In 1877, W. Kuhn, a German scientist, discovered that the purple retinas from dark adapted frogs turn yellow when exposed to light and through a complex biochemical cycle in the presence of vitamin A, the purple color is restored which makes vision possible. Other scientists also indicated the role of vitamin A in cell differentiation, bone development, reproduction and immune system function. In many countries, the practice of using liver Yet another excellent source of vitamin A for various types of blindness has been recorded. The Egyptians practiced this cure about 3500 years ago. Similar practices have been followed in other countries. Liver of shark has been used in some countries. As early as 460 to 327 BC, Hippocrates treated blindness in malnourished children using liver soaked in honey. Night blindness was a persisting problem among sailors on long voyages. Edward Schwartz, in the year 1831 to 1862, a ship's doctor, cured them of the condition by feeding a regular diet of ox or pork liver. In 1904, xerophthalmian in undernourished children, whose diet consisted of rice, barley, cereals and other vegetables were treated with liver and cod liver oil by the Japanese physician M. Mori 
giving excellent results. He also discovered that cod liver oil was more effective than liver in restoring visual functions to the extent that it even reversed the condition keratomalacia characterized by corneal ulceration, severe dryness of the eyes and infection. The theory that all fats had similar nutritional value that is butter and egg yolk were not equivalent to lard and olive oil in supporting the growth and survival of rats was proved wrong in 1913 by Elmer V. McCollum and Margaret Davis at Wisconsin University. Discovery of vitamin A can be attributed to the scientist E. V. McCollum. He was curious to find the answer to the fact that cows fed on wheat did not thrive, became blind and gave birth to dead calves while those fed yellow corn had no health problems. McCollum debated on whether the wheat contained a toxic substance or whether there was something deficient in the wheat which was present in corn. He also observed that rats fed pure protein, pure skim milk, sugar, minerals and lard or olive oil for fat failed to grow. When butter fat or an extract of egg yolk was added to their diets, their health was restored. He concluded that a fat soluble factor in certain foods was essential for growth and survival and the growth supporting accessory factor named it fat soluble factor A in 1918 and then vitamin A in 1920. Research by two scientists, Osborne and Mendel, shortly after McCollum's study discovered that cod liver oil produced the same results as butter in rat studies, thus confirming the earlier work of Japanese physician M. Mori. Subsequent studies by scientists indicated that vitamin A was colorless, though commonly found in foods with beta carotene, which was yellow in color. Moore in England showed that beta carotene was converted biologically to a colorless form of vitamin A which was then stored in the liver. In 1919, Harry Steenbock of the University of Wisconsin proposed a relationship between yellow plant pigments, beta carotene and vitamin A. The term carotenoid was coined in 1831 by Wackenroder to describe the yellow-orange pigment he discovered in carrots. In the 1930s, researchers discovered that vitamin A is formed by the conversion of beta carotene in the intestinal mucosa of animals and humans. In 1931, Swiss chemist Paul Carrer described the chemical structure of vitamin A. During 1920s to 1950s, vitamin A deficiency was linked to xerophthalmia, abnormal tissue differentiation and impaired immune functions. During the 1960s to 80s, several proteins that were crucial for the transport and metabolism of retinol or other forms of vitamin A were isolated and purified. Harry Holmes and Ruth Corbett isolated and crystallized vitamin A and Kuhn and Morris discovered a method of synthesis of vitamin A in 1937. Vitamin A was first synthesized in 1947 by two Dutch chemists David Adrian Van Dorp and Joseph Ferdinand Ares. Further work on the role of vitamin A continued through the 1990s. Now let us see the structure of vitamin A. Vitamin A is a group of unsaturated three biologically active molecules, retinol which is the alcohol form, retinal which is the retinaldehyde form, and retinoic acid which is the acid form and several pro-vitamin A carotenoids and beta carotene. Each of these active molecules is composed of a beta ionin ring to which is attached an isoprene side chain called a retinyl group. The common structural link in vitamin A is its beta ionin ring and isoprenoid chain. All vitamin A activity is linked to these two structural features. In foods, vitamin A is found in two main forms, retinols present in animal foods and carotenoids found in plant foods. 
In animal foods, the major form of vitamin A is its ester form retinyl palmitate which is converted into retinol in the small intestine. The retinol form functions as a storage form of the vitamin and can be converted to and from its visually active aldehyde form retinal. The term retinoids includes both naturally occurring forms of vitamin A and its synthetic forms. Retinol, an alcohol form can be found only in animal sources and is referred to as preformed vitamin A as it is present in foods in the active form and does not require any conversion. Retinol is oxidized reversibly to retinal which exhibits all the biological activity of retinol or can be further oxidized to retinoic acid which is active in animal growth but not in vision or reproduction. The form of vitamin A involved in vision is leaven cis retinol where the primary storage forms are retinyl esters, the most common of which is retinyl palmitate. The structure of beta carotene consists of two retinyl groups, alpha carotene and gamma carotene also have a single retinyl group which is responsible for their vitamin activity. None of the other carotenoids have vitamin activity. The carotenoid beta cryptosanctin possesses an iron group and has vitamin activity in humans. Provitamin A refers to carotenoid structures which includes carotins and xanthophylls. Both differ slightly in that true carotins like lycopene, alpha carotin, beta carotin, gamma carotin are pure hydrocarbon molecules while the xanthophylls like lutein, camxanthin, cryptoxanthin, zeaxanthin contain oxygen in the form of hydroxyl, methoxyl, carboxyl, keto or epoxy group. Alpha carotin and beta carotin differ in the location of a double bond in a ring which influence the carotin's efficiency of conversion to vitamin A. Beta carotin is the most potent in its ability to be converted to vitamin A whereas alpha carotin, gamma carotin and cryptoxanthin have about 40 to 60 percent of the potency of beta carotin. Other carotenoids such as xanthophylls, zeaxanthin and lycopene have virtually no vitamin A potency. Thus, vitamin A can be found in two principal forms in foods. Retinol, a yellow fat soluble substance is absorbed when eating animal food sources. Since the pure alcohol form is unstable, the vitamin is found in tissues in a form of retinyl ester. It is also commercially produced and administered as esters such as retinyl acetate or palmitate. Only the carotenes alpha carotene, beta carotene, gamma and the xanthophyll beta cryptoxanthin function as pro-vitamin A in herbivores and omnivore animals. They contain the enzyme beta carotene 1515 dioxygenase which cleaves beta carotene in the intestinal mucosa and converts it to retinol. In general, carnivores are pure, poor converters of iron containing carotenoids and lack the enzyme beta carotene 1515 dioxygenase and cannot convert any carotenoids to retinol. Now let us briefly review the chemistry of vitamin A. Retinol in its pure form is a pale yellow crystalline solid and exists in nature as various isomers. The metabolites of retinol are unique in that they contain five conjugated double bonds within their six carbon ring structure and so form specific side chains. The double bonds contribute special properties. The double bond in retinol plays a unique role in multiple vision process. It is relatively stable to heat, acids and alkalis and is easily oxidized at high temperature in the presence of air and rapidly destroyed by UV rays or in rancid fats. They are insoluble in water. Most retinoids are soluble in organic solvents and fat. What then are the dietary sources of vitamin A? 
As mentioned earlier, there are two forms of vitamin A, retinoids and carotenoids. Vitamin A from animal sources is called preformed vitamin A. It is absorbed in the form of retinol, the active form of vitamin A, though rarely found in foods. Instead, precursors to retinol, fatty acid retinyl esters such as retinyl palmitate are found primarily in selected foods of animal origin such as egg yolks, liver, fish oil such as cod liver oil, river, liver oils of fish such as halibut, cod and shark as well as fatty fish such as tuna, sardines and herring, whole milk and dairy products including cheese and butter. Carotenoids are found naturally in a variety of fruits and vegetables. Plants can synthesize the carotenoids but do not have the ability to convert them to retinoids. This conversion takes place in the human body. The carotenoids are red, yellow and orange in color and substantial in number. There are over 600 types of carotenoids. Lycopene is an example of a carotenoid that is red in color and found in fairly good amounts in tomatoes. Canthaxanthin is a red-orange carotenoid found in plants as well as in fish and seafood such as sea trout and crustaceans. Common pro-vitamin A foods that come from plants are beta-carotene and beta-cryptoxanthin. Beta-carotene is the most widely distributed found in green leafy vegetables, example in spinach, amaranth and young leaves from various sources. Yellow vegetables, orange vegetables such as pumpkins, carrots, sweet potato and non-citrus fruits such as mangoes, apricots and papaya. Green vegetables contain some carotenoids, although the pigment cannot be seen because it is masked by the chlorophyll. Red palm oil produced in several countries worldwide is especially rich in beta-carotene. Beta-carotene and canthaxanthin are approved by the Food and Drug Association FDA and used as food color additives. It is believed that only 10% of the pigments have vitamin A activity with beta-carotene having the greatest activity followed by the alpha and gamma forms. The wide variety of vitamin A precursors allow for adequate amounts of the vitamin in all diet types. Over 80% of the daily supply of vitamin A in the Indian diet is derived from its precursors beta-carotene, alpha-carotene, gamma-carotene and beta-cryptoxanthin present in many plant foods. Absorption of beta-carotene from green leafy vegetable is in the range of 50 to 99% while it is less from carrots and papaya. The blue-green algae Sprilina is a rich source of beta-carotene from which nearly 70% of beta-carotene is absorbed. One gram of Sprilina contains carotenoids equivalent to one kg of yellow fruits and vegetables. The large variety of vitamin A precursors provide for adequate amounts of the vitamin in all types of diet. Foods containing the pro-vitamin A carotenoids tend to be less biologically available but more affordable than animal products and hence carotenoids contribute to most of the vitamin activity in the diets of lower socio-economic groups. Preformed vitamin A is also used to fortify processed fruits that may include sugar, cereals, condiments, fats and oils. In pharmaceutical preparations, retinyl acetate is commonly used. Aquasol A, a water miscible form of vitamin, is also available for those individuals with a fat malabsorptive disorder. We shall now see the mechanism of absorption of vitamin A. Vitamin A is absorbed along with dietary fats from the small intestine. Bile is essential for the effective absorption. The salts of bile acid such as taurine and glycine derivatives of cholic acid are the digestion promoting constituents of bile. They are surface active agents and also activate lipase enzyme. 
They combine with fat soluble vitamins to form molecular components which are then absorbed. Retinyl esters and carotenoids complexed with proteins must be liberated prior to absorption. This is accomplished by pepsin in the stomach and proteases from the small intestine. Removal of the fatty acids of retinyl esters is accomplished by pancreatic lipase and cholesterol esterase. Free carotenoids and retinols integrated into micelles and traverse the enterocyte plasma membrane by passive diffusion. Whereas 70 to 90 percent of retinol is absorbed, it is only 20 to 50 percent of beta carotene. The amount of protein and fat in the diet and variations in the digestive function influence the availability of carotene. An intake of at least 5 grams of fat is necessary for beta carotene absorption. Vitamin A and carotenoids tend to aggregate with lipid into globules which are then passed into the small intestine. Retinol and retinyl esters account for virtually all of the preformed vitamin A available in the diet obtained exclusively from foods of animal origin. Beta carotene is widely available in fruits, vegetables and dairy fats and is converted to retinol in the body. Dietary vitamin A is absorbed as such in the intestines. Retinyl esters, mainly as palmitate, are hydrolyzed by the combined action of bile salts and the esterases in the small intestine. The released carotenoids and retinol in the small intestine are solubilized into micelles which are small aggregates of mixed lipid and bile salts suspended within the gastric bolus solution. The micelles are absorbed into the intestinal mucosal cell. Approximately 70 to 90 percent of retinol from the diet is absorbed as long as the diet is adequate in fat. Reduced secretion of bile or obstruction in the bile duct leads to decreased absorption of vitamin from the diet. Experiments have revealed that beta carotene in food is better absorbed than other carotenes. Carotenoid absorption from the diet ranges from about 20 to 50 percent, while absorption of other carotenoids may be as low as 3 to 10 percent. Beta carotene absorbed in foods varies with the source. It is better absorbed from papaya and carrots than amaranth. There is wide variation in individuals in the absorption of beta carotene from the same dietary source also. Free carotenoids and retinols integrate into micelles and most likely traverse the enterocyte plasma membrane by passive diffusion. Retinol can be absorbed from food directly into the intestinal wall. Before retinyl esters can be absorbed, they must first be hydrolyzed to free retinol and an organic acid. The hydrolysis is catalyzed by enzymes within pancreatic juice and the organic acid released is usually palmitic acid because retinyl palmitate is the predominant retinyl ester within food. Only small amounts of retinoic acid is found in food. Beta carotene is hydrolyzed in the intestine to form retinol and about 10 percent of the retinol is converted to retinoic acid. 70 to 90 percent of vitamin A from the diet is absorbed in the intestine. The efficiency of absorption for vitamin A increases with increased intake. Absorption of vitamin A is quite rapid with maximum absorption occurring 2 to 6 hours after digestion. Within the intestinal lumen, the vitamin is incorporated into a micelle and absorbed across the brush border into the enterocytes. Within the enterocytes, precursors of vitamin A, that is the carotenoids, are converted to the active forms of the vitamin. The newly formed products and additional precursors are then packaged into chylomicrons and readied for transport throughout the body. More than 90 percent of the retinol stores in the body enters as retinyl esters that are subsequently found within the lipid portion of the chylomicron. 
some carotenoids pass into the enterocyte and are solubilized into chylomicrons without further change, whereas some of the pro-vitamin A carotenoids are converted into retinol by cleavage enzyme in the brush border. Absorbed vitamin A in the form of retinol, retinyl esters, beta carotene or the retinol produced from beta carotene is transported from the intestine within chylomicrons. For this much of the retinol must be re-esterified back into retinyl esters. The chylomicrons are released into the lymphatic system which transports them to the blood. Most of the retinol and retinyl esters are transported to the liver and some enter adipose tissue and other tissues. Preformed vitamin A in animal foods occurs as retinyl esters of fatty acids in association with membrane bound cellular lipid and fat containing storage cells. Pro vitamin A carotenoids in foods of vegetable origin are also associated with cellular lipids but are embedded in complex cellular structures such as the cellulose containing matrix of chloroplast or the pigment containing portion of chromoplast. Normal digestive processes free vitamin A and carotenoids from embedding food matrices which takes place more efficiently from animal than from vegetable tissues. Diets critically low in dietary fat, probably under 5 to 10 grams daily, or disease conditions that interfere with normal digestion and absorption, leading to steatoria, can hinder the efficient absorption of retinol and carotenoids. Free carotenoids and retinols integrate into micelles and are absorbed across the brush border into the enterocyte plasma membrane by passive diffusion. Within the enterocyte, precursors of vitamin A are converted to active forms of the vitamin. As much as 70 to 90 percent of the retinol is absorbed in the intestine. Thus, we have come to the conclusion of this session, whereby we have seen the history, dietary sources, absorption and distribution of vitamin A. It is bye to all the listeners.